Oh, bugger. I've broken my last three mil end mill. I suppose I'll have to make a new one. Okay, so there's the broken three millimeter end mill, or eighth of an inch actually. Um, this is a full size brand new, but this was a ball mill. I don't really want to go grinding this one to make it a an end mill. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to well make a repair to uh, a broken one to get you out of trouble. But if you haven't even got a broken one or it's not even salvageable, uh, this is a brand new drill, eighth of an inch drill. I'm going to show you how to turn this into a, a slot drill or an end mill that will get you out of trouble. Or if you, you know, indeed if you don't have or don't possess any end mills at all, well, I'll show you how to make one um, that will suffice until you are able to get one. Okay, so the first thing I need to do with this standard drill, if you notice, the shank is a, just over an inch long. And the cutting sort of area starts, you can see where the, the grind mark is there. So it'll start about there. So I'm going to have to cut this drill in two places. First of all, the shank's too long. And obviously the, the length of the uh, cutting area is too long as well. So we're going to sort of probably cut half of it away there and just under half of the shank away because otherwise it's going to flex too much. So I'm going to put it in here and sort of lightly clamp it. Okay, now what you need to use is a slitting disc, if I can show you that, edge on. It's very fine. So that's what we're going to do. Is First of all I'm going to cut this shank off. I suspect the end of it is going to be quite warm. So we'll catch on with a pair of pointy nose pliers and turn it around. Put it back into the vise. So we need to cut it about halfway or maybe slightly under halfway. About there. Now, try and make this cut a square. Let's grip it. There we go. As square as you can. So here we go. Okay. It's going to be pretty warm. So that is what we end up with. Okay. So to make sure that this is absolutely square, because that's very important for a, an end mill, I'm going to take this to and do another step. Okay, so here we have my grinding uh, wheel. This is the fine grinder. So you need to take the, any little burr off the back first. Just like that. See, so the burr has been taken off. There's no burr there at all now. And you get your drill, put it in. And then offer it to the 
I'll fit it up to the, um, the grinding wheel. Then offer this up to the grinding wheel. Now the drill is a means of holding that drill very steady. Okay. Now what you do, start the drill up. So now that is absolutely square, or as square as you possibly can get it. Okay. So the next thing we do is, if you notice the end of the drill, now this is going to be the cutting edge here, and this is going to be the trailing edge here, and this is going to be the cutting edge here, and trailing edge there. So what we have to do is put a slight angle now from the trailing edge towards the cutting edge on each side of it. So we place it in the jaws and we, as it happens, that's pretty well right there. Don't squeeze it up too tight because you will actually crack this. Now then, I'm going to get my very fine grinding wheel again, my slitting saw, and I'm just going to grind just this edge away here. Very, very gently. Okay, so you can see now we have a leading lead -in edge and the trailing edge is machined or ground away from it. So now we do the exact same thing on the other side. Let's turn it 180 degrees. Try to get it in the same position. Nice and firm. Okay. Now the trick is to hold it as near as you can to the same angle. A bit warm but if you can see that now and the camera's picking that up they're not exactly the same but you can see we're left with a leading cutting edge okay and a leading cutting edge there so this is how to make an, an end mill or slot drill that's going to get you out of trouble, or indeed make one out of a, a standard drill. But obviously you can't do it over the, you know, the full standard length of the drill, because it'll flex all over the place and probably snap off like a carrot. So that's that one. This one actually was a, this one was a ball mill, so, and he was snapped off. So I'm going to do the same trick with this one. Um, we, we've actually got to make a leading edge on this one a little bit, or a cutting edge, but that can all be done the same way, I think. <laughs> Stick it 
stick this one out a little tiny bit further. Okay, here we go. I'm looking with my glasses as well, but I think we pretty well got that. I probably need to get this one under a magnifying glass, but... Can't even see through the camera really. More difficult to see this one. I think we got that. So I'm just gonna, just gonna grind this back edge here. Now I don't think. I can feel I can feel two cutting edges. You know my eyes are not what they were 20 years ago but that's going to work as well, I think. Oh, well, we'll give them a try. And that is how to turn a standard drill into a end mill or slot drill that's going to get you out of trouble. Of course, this process works a lot better on a you know a larger cutter, you know a larger drill because you could actually see what you're doing without uh, using I was actually using the the, the camera viewing uh, screen to actually see what I was doing it was very difficult but uh, you know you can do it so on the next video we're going to see how they actually perform with this little mini 3018 CNC router so till next time this Bye for now.